Being a professional cyclist must have its perks. Lots of us would like to be professional cyclists, but there must be some down points as well. So we asked some cyclists this morning at the Dubai Tour what are the best and worst parts of being a pro. What? The? Um, um, the best, the best. Um, um, oh, I don't know. Oh. The best thing about being a pro cyclist? Traveling, I think. I like a travel. And the worst thing? Travelling as well, <laughs> being away from home, yeah. I mean, you used on many quotes, like saying you live your dream and you just... Uh, I always say I'm 30, nearly yeah, 36 and I've never worked in my life, so that pretty much sums it up for me. And it's like, we come to places, over this bike brought me everywhere in the world and just for free. And yeah, just uh, hanging out with great mates and just in, you just enjoy what you're doing. And what's the worst thing? Uh, yeah, it comes with the fun. Um, of course, it's suffering and you don't see your family as much as you want and sometimes you get tired of being away all the time, but it's still, uh, I, I would do this again. Pretty go commando to work every single day. And the worst thing? The saddle. Um, Rod Ellingworth said to me when I was uh, in under 23, I, I was changing saddles a lot, trying to find one that I really liked, and he said, Alex, we understand it's never going to be an armchair, it's not a sofa, it's not going to be comfortable, we just might find one that's less comfortable than another. So, yeah, I definitely sat in the saddle for like five or six hours. The best of, uh, of uh, my career of the every years is uh, a lot of friends uh, make in, in, in on a bike, outside the bike, you know. You remember the snow, wind, very cold, rain, in uh, Gabia in Stelvio, it's super bad day. I, I remember when I arrived to the finish line, that completely dead. It's fun. I mean, for myself, it's uh, making what I love or what I started as a as a as a hobby, doing professional, and it's it just doesn't feel like a job for me. So that's what it makes so cool. And what's the worst part? Well. Worst part is, of course, sometimes you have to go out when you don't want to, especially when it's, for example, snowing or whatever. So, yeah, this sometimes, but uh, if it's, it's still fun most of the times. Andy, what is the best thing about being a pro cyclist? Uh, just getting to do what you love, really, you know, for a living. What's the worst thing about being a pro cyclist? Well, it's kind of the best and the worst, you know, being away from home, you know, when you've got a family back home, it's uh, pretty difficult being away so much, but, you know, we're here to race our bikes, and that's what we love doing, so, uh, you know, it's love and hate at the same time. Uh, Rory, what is the best thing about being a pro cyclist? I think we're here, you know, being in Dubai at the moment, when it's cold pretty much everywhere else except for Australia and uh, you know we get to do a race in a, in a really cool city with a really cool atmosphere. What's the worst thing about being a pro cyclist? The races that are going on where it's not like this. <laughs> no, there's a lot of travel being away from family and uh, it's always difficult you know obviously the crashes and things like that but uh, on the other side it's not a the grass is not always greener it's not a terrible life at all. What is the best part of being a pro cyclist? John, though, he's only been pro since January the 1st, so he's had a couple of months' experience so far. Yeah, well, so far, nice hotels. Nice hotels abroad. It's, it's like going on holiday every week, so... Yeah. That won't last. You're in Dubai at the moment. Yeah, I think it, maybe we started up here and steadily through the season we'll go... <laughs> but so far, good stuff. And what's the worst part about being a pro cyclist? Um, the worst part? Oh, God, it's hard to find negatives. So let's... Maybe there's a massive crash today, I'm at the bottom of it. Crashing? Yeah. I would say the freedom, just uh, being able to do it every day to ride your bike and uh, go out on the roads and enjoy nature, you know? And what's the worst thing about being a pro? Um, being on the road, like away from family, away from your wife, your, your friends, that's definitely the, the hardest thing. Uh, I mean, I don't know, but you can travel a lot, you can... You can use some huge people <laughs> and different story in one word, it's pretty nice. And what's the worst thing about being a pro? A lot of fatigue. <laughs> being tired. Yeah, being tired. Sometimes, pretty much. <laughs> uh, getting to wake up in the morning on the seafront in Dubai and just go and ride your bike for a few hours, I guess. And what's the worst thing? 
probably in a few weeks' time when we wake up in a company in Belgium, we have to go and ride in the rain and uh, yeah, probably that bit. So hotel is the answer to both? Ah, not hotel, just general, you know, weather, nice hotels and just yeah, getting to go out and ride our bikes. Yeah. Uh, Dylan, what is the best thing about being a professional cyclist? The best thing about being a cyclist? Uh, yeah, you see all the world, so it's beautiful. Now we are in Dubai, so yeah, it's beautiful. And what's the worst thing? Um, I think crashing in the sprint, that's the, that's the worst thing. So I hope that's not possible today, but yeah. Jempi, what is the best thing about being a pro cyclist? Uh, getting to see a lot uh, from the world and uh, yeah, it's uh, my passion, so it's nice to have it as a job. And what's the worst thing? Uh, training in uh, rain and winter conditions. <laughs> you come from cyclocross, you must love that. <laughs> yeah, but I I feel that I more and more get the uh, road cyclist and the uh, rainy days are uh, getting worse there. <laughs> so traveling can be both good and bad. Crashing hurts a lot, but you get to ride your bike a hell of a lot. And that's got to be a good thing, hasn't it? Now last year, Lasty asked whether they knew the UCI rules well or not, and you can find that video by clicking just down here. Or on the other hand, if you'd like to see the sort of things that they travel with, what's in their suitcase, Adam Hansen showed us through his at the Tour de France in 2016, and that video is down here. And make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking on the globe.